Welcome to this Tech Tuesday from t-rave.com and it has been some time since uh, the last Tech Tuesday but uh, yeah here I am bringing you a review over the Barnes & Noble Nook. Now the Nook is nothing new and it's not a new gadget out there. It's been out for a while and e-readers in general have been out for a while. Um, Amazon Kindle, uh, Sony, the ebook reader from them, and then the Nook are the biggest selling slash more popular ones out right now. Now the Nook came out, uh, I want to say around Christmas time of 09, and it has been just, it was just another e-reader on the market. Uh, when it first came out, I will be honest, the all the e-readers actually kind of were pricey and that's what really steered me away and I really did not see the point of e-readers. Now I say all that to then say I was wrong in my original thought towards e-readers. Um, after a few months uh, the price started coming down a little bit on some of them and I started seeing that the validity, validity of them. Um, one being when I was on Amazon I saw a few books that I wanted to order but they were a little cheaper on the e-reader side and I could have them at that point. Now at that time I obviously did not take the plunge and as of recently I decided, hey, I want to try one out hands on. I'm not a big reader and um, it was one of those things that I wanted to kind of push myself to that. Now if you're not familiar with e-readers, they use uh, this little technology called e-ink or um, where it's kind of like a graphite across the screen and if you can see that those are the letters um, on the the specialty about the Barnes & Noble Nook is that it has a color screen down here and I thought that was kind of a, a gimmick when it first came out but I will say that it is nice and sharp it's very responsive um, typing on it because it does have a web browser on it as well um, this is the version that has Wi-Fi and AT&T 3G um, but the, the typing on it if you do use the web is actually pretty slick and now um, how it displays the web is slightly different it's not something like ooh I'm gonna replace uh, my laptop as I go to uh, a coffee shop or something but if you're on here you do have it with you you do have that option and what's cool is you have uh, the web page up here and it translates into um, the very simple stuff but down with the screen it gives you uh, the color actual render of it so on t-rave.com um, you can you can see how it's supposed to really look and um, it's really cool I think I, I really thought it was pretty nifty now I, I again it's not gonna be one of those that uh, you're gonna take with you as a web browser but it is there to do it now the reason why I went with the Nook um, is because since I've been getting into reading, uh, I went and got a library card, something I haven't done in many years. Um, but the, our local public library uh, has books online and that you can check out. And they are in, they have the Adobe DRM ebook uh, container on them. So you have to have a device that does this. Now, at this time of the review, um, the companies that actually make the ebook readers, uh, specifically Nook and Amazon with their Kindle, um, they're actually kind of bringing down the price and giving you a few options. Like I said, this is the one with 3G and Wi-Fi. This version is now about $199 from Barnes & Noble. This one being, um, uh, or <laughs> sorry, then the Wi-Fi version being about $150. Uh, Amazon Kindle is a little cheaper and I was going to go with the Amazon Kindle 3. However, it did not have the Adobe DRM, um, so just be aware of that. That's why I went with this, because I can check out books from my library and use it on here. Now, the results of this and me using this have been pretty splendid. Uh, I like reading on it. It's very simplistic, um, and reading on this is very nice. Um, it keeps me very focused as well. Um, and then, obviously, you scroll through pages with these buttons on the side. And like I said, this is not a review um, to kind of be like, hey, check out this new gadget. It's just my thoughts on it and I like it a lot. I actually rooted this as well. This is based on uh, 
but Android and there is a developers group out there it's pretty easy you can actually take off the back and there's extra storage that you can put on a micro SD which I did and uh, yeah it's it's pretty awesome and so um, let's see uh, we'll load up a book here so you can kind of see hopefully um, this is who is Evelyn Salt uh, I'm not sure this is just the daily thing but there's the text and after a while the screen dims down down here and to get to the next page you hit it I think the refresh rate on this is decent um, I'm not finding myself waiting and be like I have to get to the next page I have to and it you know not doing it but that's just me um, some of you faster readers uh, might like the you know a little bit more snappiness in it but it's loading up here's a little screensaver if you can see that as well um, battery life is pretty good on it the size of it is awesome um, I can put it in my little bag that I carry around and I got a little neoprene case I will say if you are ordering a neoprene case this one is kind of loose. Uh, I bought it from Amazon, and uh, but it does come with a micro USB and wall charger. Those are always nice to have. And uh, so yeah, the Nook is pretty awesome. If you're not a ebook user, um, try it out. See if your friend has one. Um, just check it out. It might not be the $150 worth that you are looking for, especially if you like books, because I still do like books. Uh, I can highlight and mark in them. But honestly, on the go. I can store stuff on there and it's books that, you know, more of the fictional ones that I might not have to mark in. I like it, especially with the marketplace. So anyway, that's just a few thoughts slash kind of the go over of the Barnes and Noble Nook. I think it's uh, a great little device and uh, yeah, e-readers are becoming more popular as the price is coming down and you can get content pretty much right away so that's kind of nifty anyway that is one of the latest gadgets in my family of technology next week or here soon i'll be going over the other piece of new gadgetry i have so anyways thanks for watching this tech tuesday from t-rave.com